Okay, now. Um, hello, I'm Arthur, and that's Nico. Uh, we're doing a test on memory, and I'm going to show him a face for five seconds, and then we're, I'm going to then take it away, and then he has to wait 30 seconds, and now he's going to have to look at these faces to find each one. Then I'm going to repeat the process using a different face for 10 seconds. So I guess I'll start now. This one's for five seconds. One, two, three. Now we're just going to wait 30 seconds because we, um, in my uh, testing, I want to do an eyewitness testing, the problems with it, because um, sometimes when you look at a face, you can only memorize it for some times, and then if there's someone who looks the same as you, uh, you're going to get confused. So all these pieces kind of look similar, and he needs to figure out which one's which. I don't know if that beep is. Um, you can start, Nico. And he's only got a minute to figure out which one it is. This is just so people don't take forever to do it. Okay, so now that I want to start this over again, but this time it's going to, he's going to see the face for 10 seconds instead of five. One, two, three. Okay, you can, uh, oh, wait, 30 seconds. So actually, this is actually my second time testing him because the first time he's only well, this time he's only allowed to look at one at a time. But the first time he could look at compare them, he could look at them all at the same time. So this is actually my second time testing. You can be good. And this, this is the final uh, uh, face that you can see, and it's for 15 seconds. So we're going to wait another 30 seconds. So I've tested everyone in my class and some other eight, eighth graders too. I've also tested Mr. Karate, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Karate, and Mr. Kellogg. Five seconds. You can begin. That was quick. <laughs> okay, so that's it.